Hi, I'm Polka the dog. I live with my owner as her service dog. Here's a little snippet of my life at UMass Amherst. We service dogs feel like humans are documented way more than us, so I wanted to show you how we happily coexist at this university. I've been up for three and a half hours already and I'm excited to start my day, but my owner literally sleeps for 2,000 hours. I've always been confused why people spend so much time on their external image. I never do anything to my fur and everyone thinks I'm cute AF. Who needs the rec center when you have perfectly good sidewalks and trees to pee on? Weights are so overrated. I've never been into the muscular type. Sorry, pit bulls. That was Brock. We had a thing a few weeks ago until I saw him sniffing another girl's butt. I cut him off right then and there and he's been salty about it ever since. I love geese because it's the only thing I'm bigger than, and because they honestly are so much more interesting to talk to than these douchey freshman frat boys. I love the smell of fresh cut grass. It's much different than the grass I'm used to smelling in the dorms. Where the F is the pedigree? You call this number one dining? All they have here is marinated feta and olives. Pitted. Campus squirrels are so annoying, but you have to admit they do look more appetizing than the Hamp dining hall. Being a service dog is a lot more than just being a companion. We are trained to help people with physical and mental disabilities. We might need humans to survive, but they need us just as much. I hope you got a good glance into my daily life. If you have any questions or intentions of adopting, check out the UMass website. This day has flown by. You know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. It's time for me to get some rest. But if you see me on campus, feel free to give me a treat or a nice belly rub. Thank you.